Retro Rob plays everything. Hey there, real gamers and gatekeepers. Retro Rob here, and today we are going to take a look at a game I mentioned a while back and never bothered to pull out and unbox, and that game is Contra Rogue Core. And this is for, of course, the Switch, which is the latest NVIDIA Shield device. Take a while to look that one up, folks. And anyway, uh, this game I'm a little bit worried about because the reviews have been pretty astonishingly bad for it. That said, uh, there's been a few folks in the comments when I put this into the haul video that said, if I enjoy mindless fun, I'll probably like this game. And guess what, folks? I love mindless fun. And all mindless fun starts with the front of the box. Locked and loaded edition. Contra Rogue Core. Corpse. Quirs. Quirs. Hmm. Oh, for goodness sake. Core. 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 Got it. By Konami. Here's the spine. If you were hoping for something different, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Looks like every other game for the Switch. Diddle for the left side, the top, and the bottom. Here's the back of the box. Meet the Rogue Corps. They may not be typical heroes, but they're here to save the world. Gigantic deadly bosses. Explosive co-op action, which we're not going to see. Aww. Immensive story mode. Customize guns and gear. I like that. It's a good idea right there. Look at that. It's got online play. That said, I refuse to pay for their gaming service until they actually add a feature or two to it. So, whatever. Let's open it up. So, what's inside? Oh, some DLC. Two character skins. I'm going to put my finger over that code. Or thumb. Hold on a second. Also included is a limited warranty. Inside of the case has some nice artwork on it. It does look great. Of course, no manual or anything. So we're basically left with playing the game. Let's try it out. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe or I will go Skynet on your butt. Welcome to the Road Core. All right, we've got a few things running around here. I can change out my characters. Uh, profile is what you generally expect. It's your user profile. There's a surgery room the workshop, and then of course there's the VTOL over here, and this is where I go uh, for meetings. APC allows for the online play. Real quick, I'm gonna show you the surgery room. So, <laughs> this is actually kind of clever. I like this particular part. I can buy body parts on the black market, and I can install them in my, uh, my character so like i got the normal brain and i'm gonna go give it a freak's brain which gives it some better mastery i can pay for a better surgeon and maybe get some bonuses i've got enough to use a better surgeon so let's uh let's do the wonderful man just for fun and then uh so now i'm going to up my stats And it failed. That's a I paid for it for the first time and it failed and it actually got worse. <laughs> okay. <sighs> well, it doesn't reduce damage, gunman minus. Man. So the one time. I use a surgeon. But anyway, yeah, there's a chance of failure. There's a chance of, you know, getting something extraordinary to go on. And there we go. I've, I've upgraded a whole bunch. And this is actually all well and good. I like this. That is a cool part of the game. Uh, the workshop is where things, to me, just kind of fall apart. It has a customization system. You can add things. But I find it... It's kind of confusing. 
So basically you have a set number of storage space on your weapon. And then each one of these upgrades costs something. And as you upgrade the gun, you'll get more and more storage space and you'll be able to install these. But you never seem to have enough storage really to make a big difference in your gun's capabilities. You know, maybe later on it'll get better, but I'm not sure. I find this to be, I don't know why, but it's just kind of a confusing way of doing the upgrade system. I didn't find it very user friendly. It's it's just me maybe. Maybe there's just something about it that I, I don't like, but it, it just felt kind of unwieldy. Uh, another thing that people complain about is graphically it is a little bit blurrier than your average Switch title. It kind of looks like maybe they were going to make it on the Vita or something, you know? And it is. It's it's not, you know, if you look, there's no real anti-aliasing. It is it is kind of rough looking. I don't think it's that bad, but I know some people have complained. So let's go single player. And we'll do Disaster Recon. Am I sure I want to start the mission? Yes. And this is basically a dual stick shooter. It's fun when you're in the game. I, I do have fun doing it. So, <laughs> what did that mean? I do have fun playing it. But, I don't know, it's a little, it's a little lackluster. Not bad, again. Which is kind of cool. I think a lot of the problems with this game is it's really not what, oh, messed that up. Not what people expect from Contra. And that might be part of the problem. All right, now I'm locked in. Yeah, maybe not. Come on. Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Ah, there's a way to run. No! It rolled past me at least, I guess. I wonder if I'm going to be blocked in though. Can't remember where it ends. Well, last time I made it. <laughs> See, now I'm running. There we go. You do have specials. Uh, you do have primary and secondary weapons. It's kind of messed up because the uh, the gun switching button is what you usually use for reloads. And as I recall, the special button is the one that you generally use in games to uh, switch your weapons. So it just feels a little bit a little bit backwards. Just a little. You know the drill. And then I've got this bonus capability here, this extra capability that I use. <laughs> That's a cool effect. I really like that. It especially looks good on the handheld. I kind of like that. It reminds me of a... Uh, dang, what was the name of that game? There's a game on the Dreamcast that used to do that. Where you beat somebody up and they like just appear like all over your screen, they like splatter on your screen. Anybody remember the game? Let me know, because it's driving me nuts now. We got all sorts of goodies, including a heal. I'm doing okay. Let's move forward. Yeah, now I remember. If you let off the gun, you'll be able to run faster. And you're really supposed to pick up those little containers. They give you bonuses, but uh, considering the luck I've had, I'm going to just not do too much of that. There we go. Yeah, that was something I forgot to mention. Um, all right, so... Ooh, it's still coming? No, it stopped. If I just pull my right trigger to fire, I can move faster... Then if I use my second stick to aim and move and fire. See how I'm slowing down? Those are things that can be upgraded too in between rounds. So that's kind of cool. But not so cool when you're uh, 
not so cool when you're hoping uh, hoping to get away from something or dodge something when you're uh, firing at them. Die! And you can see what some of the people are kind of complaining about, uh, graphically speaking. I don't think it looks that bad. Again, it's, you know, I understand what they're saying, but I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. But I can definitely see where they'd have a problem. Come on. Oh, there we go. Die, you golden bastard. Nice. Pick it up. Jump! 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 Let's pop this guy. And he did some damage to me. I think I might be dead. At the very least, I am very close to being dead. Oh, come on! Give me a break here. There we go. That's going to come off my final score. I'm not getting an A on this. More like a B or a C at this point. Alright, can I go now? Yep. The gameplay and controls, really, in general, they're all in, all well and good, you know? They're not bad. I like the collecting money. I, I love that kind of thing, so. Not bad. Love the dual stick shooting. That's my thing. Again, not what you really expect out of Contra, but... Alright, so... Yeah, the trick to these guys is jump. Or you can use the rocket. Or go up here. You're all dying. There we go. That's good stuff. I do like the way it kind of zooms in and out. I think that's a nice effect. It doesn't always zoom in and out where you want it to, though. So you can't always see enemies that are coming right at you. Come on. Nice. I love that. That is pretty cool. That part of the game is hard to complain about. Alright, so now... Now I'm alright. Let's go up. In through here, right? Oh, it's not letting me out. Is there still somebody around? Yeah, there is. <laughs> Way to go. This actually reminds me of more than one Dreamcast game. <laughs> There's a couple of them. Ah, what the heck's the name of that other one? See? Mm. Yep, just can't remember. No, I can't leave. Let me go! Oh, there's a timer at the top. Yeah, there's one of my annoyances. If you look at the top left, there is a timer here, right? And if you run out of time, you're brought back to base whether you defeated the enemies or not. And sometimes you get into these... Areas like right now, look at no idea where I'm supposed to be going. There we go. I can go this way. But still, you end up looking uh, for where you're supposed to go, and then you end up running out of time right at the end. I really am not a big fan of arbitrary timers. It's just kind of annoying to me. 
It would be okay if it gave you like a point bonus for finishing earlier. And then, you know, if you didn't, you didn't get the bonus. That's fine. But it literally pulls you out of the game when you run out of time. And that's kind of freaking annoying. Hopefully we'll make it to this boss. Die. Reach the end. Alright, gotta remember I got the nuke because I'm gonna need this for the boss. There we go. Not too hard. Oh, that was kind of bumpkiss. <laughs> Die. Expendable Rearmed was the name of the game that this kind of reminds me of. There's a little bit of that game in here. And Expendable Rearmed was not just made on the Dreamcast, which didn't have dual sticks, but it was also released on the NVIDIA Shield, which does. And the NVIDIA Shield version of it, which is basically the Android version, that game uses both controllers and it's really well done. So if you have a shield, that's worth checking out. Darn it! I am just getting my butt kicked. Come on. Should I just jump? Yep. There we go. Questions can be asked. I am just about dead. Can you wait for it? <laughs> Jumped right into it. <laughs> wait for it so you can jump right into it. There's a bit of a delay in my recording system sound. So if I try to listen for when these go off, it doesn't work. This is just a little bit off. The controls are fine, but the sound is a little bit off. There we go. Come on. Get him. Ugh, he's getting away. I usually get him. In a way, this is a little bit harder on the big screen than it is on the small screen. It's kind of interesting. Usually it's the other way around. Come on. Wipe out that spawn. There we go. Oh, I'm being... Yeah, I'm being stopped. Right, he's dead. I am, however, mostly dead as well. Have I only finished off five of the spawn points? Oh, cripes. Alright, how do I get up there? I can't get here. Come around the back. And again, this is kind of one of the weaknesses of this game, uh, and that is the, uh, the fact that you can't see far enough a lot of the time. Sometimes the camera's just not, not optimal. All right, 7 to 13. Let's keep going. I got 10 minutes left. Jump. Jump. 
Come on now. Why is this just kind of an extra area? Hmm. Let's go this way. There we go. Get that brain! He needs to go. Bye, Goldie. Would be nice if it would give me some heals here. Yep, I think I'm going to have to keep going forward. Yeah. It's funny how long you can go with, like, so much injury. And then, like, but if you've got a full health bar, it, like, gets depleted really fast. So you can sit there and be, like, mostly dead forever. But boy, if you're not mostly dead, it's hard on you. All right, here we go, boss time. And one thing we'll do is I'm going to use my heavier, heavier weapons on it. And then I've got a nuke. This is cool. I like that effect. I think that's really neat. And it doesn't do enough damage, though, for how cool the animation is. Look at this. <laughs> Wouldn't you think it would at least be enough to kill one of these? <laughs> it's not, though. There we go. They're pretty chewed up, though. So, one down. Mission complete. And there we go. That is Contra Rogue Core. I'm going to get picked up somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. Where am I going to get picked up? There we go. And here comes my uh, here comes my big jet. Carry me off. My VTOL. I did get an A, so I'm pretty happy about that. Better than I thought I was going to do. Yay. And there's my character. And that is it for Contra Rogue Core. Uh, my opinion on this game. It's it's okay. If if I had a grading scale, I'd probably give it like a C, a C plus. It does try to do something different, but it's not really what you expect out of Contra, you know? And I, I don't know if that's really the branding they should have given it. I think that the Basic idea behind it's pretty solid. The gameplay is pretty solid. The graphics are kind of okay. They're they're not terrible for me, but I know a lot of people didn't have much to say about it. Uh, all in all, I'm gonna give it a, eh, I mean, eh. it's it's not bad for 20 bucks. It's worth picking up, but uh, I definitely wouldn't have paid like 40 for it. All right, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.